bulletin presented by Sarasa. My name is Pooja Pant and on behalf of our entire team at Sarasa, I like to wish all of our viewers a very happy and healthy new year 2023. In this bulletin, I bring you a quick update on the headlines and the latest developments and events in the world of education. So sit back and get ready to be informed as we take a look back at the month of December in education. NCERT India invites proposals from teachers, students and parents for the national curriculum framework to advance India's education system at the grassroots levels. The Ministry of Education in UAE directs private schools to the clauses of article of federal degree law aimed at preserving the national identity of the country. The directive also said that the schools failed to comply would be penalized accordingly. The State Secondary Education Department of UP India announced that it will conduct OMR based quarterly exams on a pilot basis to analyze learning outcomes in students from grades 9 to 12. Education Secretary Gillian Keegan said that teachers are among the top 10% earners in some parts of the UK. The statesman also said that the average salary of a classroom teacher is £39,000, while head teachers earn up to £95,000. The Punjab government in Pakistan opened the first transgender public school in Lahore. The school shall be providing free education from primary to higher secondary level and will also focus on teaching technical skills. The UAE is extending its Golden Visa program to more workers including scientists, researchers and skilled professionals and specialists in education. To apply, you will need to provide an employment contract approved in the UAE and some other additional documents. In a commitment to deliver on the lines of international education standards, Punjab Government India announced that school principals would undergo professional development at the Principals Academy and National Institute of Education in Singapore. The Ministry of Education and Childcare in British Columbia has expanded the K-12 curriculum to teach consent with an age-appropriate and non-discriminatory approach in the classroom. In an effort to address the massive teacher shortage, Australia will grant skilled visas on a priority basis to expat teachers. Those on the priority list will have their visa application assessed within three days. In a recent survey conducted by My Online School, among 500 UAE parents, 89% of parents wanted changes to the current curriculum and classroom system, with 56% indicating a desire for greater focus on mental health and well-being. So that's it from us in this month's bulletin. To get weekly news updates directly in your inbox, sign up for the Sarasa newsletter using the link below in the description box. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. See you next time!